1,000 kilometres off Australia's east coast, volunteers on Norfolk Island are on a mission to turn back time. They're planting trees, pulling weeds. To see the progress of it is a very satisfying feeling. Baiting rats and creating enclosures for cats. I can pretty much confidently say that he's never caught a bird, ever, ever in his life. They're trying to restore the landscape as much as possible to what it was before human settlement. Home to the famous Norfolk Pine, the island is a place like nowhere on earth, with more than 40 unique plants and 15 bird species, including the critically endangered Norfolk Island green parrot. Hundreds of years ago, there were native bats and lizards too, but pests and people have left their mark. A lot of grazing and land clearing and just agriculture really had a, a very negative impact. Digital maps are helping locals restore the habitat. We can really recreate the habitat that was there instead of just playing a guessing game. This colourful map shows the extent of native vegetation around 1750, featuring various hardwood and coastal forests and grasslands. This almost monochrome image shows the extent of native vegetation in 2020. Botanists Naomi Christian and Kevin Mills spent two years on the project, interviewing long-time locals, researching historic illustrations and doing field surveys by drone and on foot. We found a population of 10 Melisitis latifolia trees. That's a critically endangered plant. The estimate is 50 left on the planet. We found 10 more on just one day. It's believed that there's less than 50 of these in the world overall, which makes them federally endangered. Of 180 native plants, eight are extinct, 46 are threatened. So now hundreds of introduced weeds are being targeted. Now that we've sort of got on top of the coral berry to, to a degree, we're starting to look at other weeds in the reserve. So Madeira vine is another particularly nasty one in here. While eradication will be difficult, the volunteers are making a difference. There are areas on the island which could well be restored to what they were, and that's what I'm keen to see. And they're determined to keep any more pests out. Sally Eels, ABC News.